Would you like to make perfect pour over coffee every single time? Well, we here at FrenchPressCoffee.com have expended a lot of hours and a lot of coffee putting together the best tips for you to make this guide to show you how to make the world's best pour over coffee. Tip number one, get everything together that you need to make this awesome pour over coffee so that you can save time and you don't have to run around. And here's everything that you're going to need. Of course, very important firstly is your coffee beans. You'll need a good coffee grinder. This is very important for this process. You'll need your filters and you can use paper, metal, or cloth filters. A good scale will make your job a lot easier because you'll be able to more easily measure your coffee and water for that perfect pour over. However, if you don't have a good scale, you can also make use of a measuring cup to measure your water and a solid scoop to be able to scoop and measure your coffee grounds. You'll need your kettle for boiling your water, of course, and a good gooseneck kettle is certainly recommended. And finally, you'll need your pour over cone and your mug for catching all that great pour over coffee that you're about to make. Tip number two, start to boil your water and you're going to want to boil twice as much water as you've measured for your pour over because you're going to use that to prime your mug as well. Next, weigh and grind your coffee beans and you can use our chart that you can find right down here in the description of our video. You can also find this handy chart at frenchpresscoffee.com. As a simple rule, use one tablespoon or seven grams of coffee for every four ounces of water that you'll be making in your pour over. And if you'll be using a paper filter, fold the edges and then place it into your brewer. Tip number three, after you have everything ready, prime your dripper and mug. Pour in about half of your hot water, fully saturating the filter and warming the pour over dripper. This water will also heat your cup or carafe. After a minute or so, empty your now warm cup or carafe and prepare to brew. Tip number four, pour your coffee grounds into your filter and give it a gentle shake. This will flatten out the bed and give you a more even pour. Tip number five, and this tip is very important. Starting at the bed's center, gently pour water just enough to wet all of the coffee into your grounds. Allow it to rest for between 30 and 45 seconds. A solid bloom will ensure even water dispersion and a more delicious cup later on. Tip number six, after blooming, begin pouring slowly and carefully from the center of the bed into the grounds. Avoid pouring down the sides of the filter. You should pour at such a rate that the complete brew process takes about two and a half to three minutes. Tip number seven, keep practicing. Keep practicing in order to get the perfect cup of pour over coffee. And here's a few quick tips for that. Play with your coffee to water ratio. Use more grounds to get a bolder cup, less to get a less strong cup, or play with your water ratio, but don't increase more coffee and more water. In other words, play with the coffee ratio or the water ratio, but not both. Experiment with your coffee grind. We recommend medium fine to medium, but of course, you can spend some time playing around with different grounds to see which one you like the most. Try different roasts. Lighter roasted coffee will respond better to water that is not as hot, and darker roasted coffees will usually tolerate hotter water much more easily. And speaking of water temperature, the perfect water temperature for that great cup of pour over coffee is generally going to be between 195 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And one more thing about water, don't use distilled water or reverse osmosis water. The minerals found in water are very important to giving you a great tasting cup of coffee, so make sure to use high quality water when you're brewing your cup of pour over coffee. And finally, contact time between coffee and water. Now this is going to take practice as I was talking about earlier. You're going to want to take some time to get used to the pulsing motion that you'll use in order to saturate your grounds with water and the time that it's going to take for those grounds to be in contact with the water. So just keep practicing and you'll get a great cup of pour over coffee. Tip number eight, let your coffee cool down just a little bit, about two to three minutes. And here's a good reason to do that. The World Health Organization has recently found that drinking hot liquids, 149 degrees Fahrenheit and above, which is pretty hot, could potentially increase your risk for cancer of the esophagus. So if anything, that's a good reason to let your coffee cool down just a little bit. And tip number nine, we've prepared this same step-by-step -step list and you can find it at frenchpresscoffee.com. Check out the link in the description of our video. That's where you can download and print it for free. And of course, guys, 
Don't forget to share this guide with others to make sure that everyone you know gets a great cup of pour over coffee. Do you like that video? Give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more highly caffeinated coffee videos. And if you subscribe, I'll give you a great coffee quote. Go on, I'll wait. Go on. Button's right in front of you. Ah, thank you so much. And now for our quote. Retirement is one great big coffee break.